Okay, I had to loosen these up here, stop the video for a minute. Okay, here's these blocks. These are all been rebuilt. You sand them down and you rehone the IDs to clean up all the gall marks in them. The rocker arms, we do the, uh, we hone the exteriors. You can see all the, the gray areas in here, that's all your low spots. Get this light where you can see it a little better. Anyway, you can see how when you have pressure like right here, heavy pressure, it leaves these gall marks in here. So these are as clean as good as we can get. This is the other arm over here. Yeah. It falls down, it doesn't come up. So this is one we did over on this side. Got it cleaned up pretty good. <clears throat> you can see how the arm, this arm here, is a lot more wear on it. This is our worst arm. These are actually, you can feel these grooves in here. <clears throat> Excuse me. But anyway, they work. Uh, that's the best you can get to use these arms. You can see the pressure marks over a little bit just from me doing my rocker and grinding these marks. Anyway, here's what the steel blocks look like. You can see the little wear marks in here that don't clean. Oh, there you go. The marks in there. Most of the stuff cleaned out, but apparently we scar away to look at the old video. It's a big improvement. So anyway, you want to make sure you don't mix these things up. I actually marked them so I know where they came from. Okay, this head here is all assembled up. Got the valve springs in there. Set for a spring travel. <clears throat> Here's what they look like on the other side. We build the heads here, clean them all up, got them flat. Got the valve job in there. See the porting in here. Kind of. Get a little light on here, might help. Anyone that wants to work anyway. Come on, light. Camera's got a mind of its own. <clears throat> so anyway, you can see the porting in there. You can see all the way up into the valve, a guide up in there. Here's the intake over on this side. Same thing, see how much I poured it out out there. You can really see up in there. So it's all done pretty good. Okay, this is our mock-up springs on this motor. Work the springs here. Okay. Okay, here. <clears throat> you can see the uh, valves and supports in this one here also. Both done. I'll go ahead and uh, pull these keepers out of here. It's all two handed job, doing it on one makes it rough. There you go. So you got your valve in there now. There's your collar. Now I had to cut the collar for uh, spring clearancing. So it's all. I had to thin it up to get more coil bind clearance run this without having to change the upper collar. So, anyway, here's our valves. These are black diamonds. They're uh, back cut. It's hard to get the camera to focus in when I want to focus it on here. Let's see if we make it do what we need here. You know, if you look at the angles of the valve, you got a 45 and you got another 30, 35 degree on the other side. So it's coming right through here. Flows across his face right here. It makes it flow better. So the camera doesn't want to focus in at all. Anyway, there you go. Now you can see a little bit different angle to it. Anyway, <clears throat> the heads are, uh, you know, they got multiple angles in those two. Down here in our seats, same thing. These have also been bored out for the bigger valve. So you see all that looks in there. So that one's all done. Try to pop this other collar here. Okay. 
Steve the camera there. Here's our exhaust valve. Did the same cutting on it. Got our size markings on it. Stems have all been honed also to make them nice and smooth. So, it's hard to see all that in the camera. So, you can see how this gasket surface is all cleaned also. And see how the ports are done all the way through. So, it's all opened up so you can flow some good air. And the intake manifold, worked on those a little bit. So here's the manifolds. So here's a stock uh, manifold. You can see how sharp edge it is in there. And try to look through there, you can't see too much through. It's got lips and everything, casting marks up in here. Anyway, this is the uh, manifold that came on the, on the 61. It's got the 55A dash numbers in it. So anyway, first shot, you can see right in there, you can, you can see how much more of a hole goes through there. Took all the sharp edges out. And the other one right here, you can see the edges in there. And from this view, See how it's all radiused all the way around. This one is too. Oop, too much blow up. See how sharp all these edges are in here? So it's really sharp like a knife right through here. It really cuts the flow. This one here, you look at it, see everything's all just radiused over real good. So when the air comes through, it flows real nice through this whole manifold. So anyway, that's how you make the whole combination work instead of just part of your motor work so the manifold sits on the bike like this here you can see how it just flows right on through and then come up through this side the airflow goes in and just goes right up into the ports and out the other side over there so anyway, it's all part of doing the whole job is all this stuff to work correctly so all I gotta do now is get these uh finish assembly this other head, get these rock arms uh, lubed up and put up on here, and this set of heads is gonna be all done. So that's what they look like. Get everything done. This one had a broken fin on it that I had to recut and make it fit in there so you don't see it anymore. So anyway, that's what they look like when they're all done and we'll uh we'll complete them from here.